My name is Dakota, and I'm traveling India with my friends Kyle and Jar. I've convinced them to follow me to the holy city of Varanasi to meet this group of sadhus who are known to use dead bodies in their spiritual rituals. But until then, we just got off the train and officially arrived in the pink city of Jaipur. Let's see what's happening here. How was your first train ride experience? Very good. Um, I think it's a little different though because we weren't sitting in seats, you know, we weren't just like normal train. We had like uh, dorms. Dakota slept in one bed, I slept in the other. <laughs> Both beds? Yeah. There was this guy that would uh, run down the aisle between all the rooms yelling, Jai, 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 knocking really hard. I was confused because I thought like, oh my god, like I missed my stop, like I was supposed to get off. You know, and they're like trying to get us out. But he just wanted to sell us some chai. So what do we got in store today? Hmm. Uh, one of the owners of this hotel is going to take us on a free ride. Run, Jack! Run, Jack! Run, Jack! Uh, all the places we wanted to go to. Go, are we seeing elephants today? Yeah. Yes, elephants today. Um, we're going to go see a, a stairwell? Is that what it's called? Yeah, stairwell. Uh, the big stairs. And he's just going to take us around and, you know, we're going to see the sunset on some beautiful area. <laughs> Should we all do it together? Sure. We should start a band. Sorry? Start a music. We should make music together. Yes, uh, I'll definitely be the singer. I'll be singing the Hindi songs. You'll be performing. And Dakota will sing that one part. Yeah, Dakota will sing that uh, only just one line, Tumbo Sundaro. I want to have a line, but I want it to be very deep. Welcome to India. Very sexy. Could that be very, very sexy? Welcome to India. That'll be the hook. This is Carl. <laughs> this is your host for the evening, Carl the Queen. Carl the Queen. Huh. I am the Queen. I yeah, no, no. You can WhatsApp me after the show. <laughs> Find them at the oh, I, I kind of can. Whoever did this is very big. Try yeah. Dakota? Actually, it's like my size. <laughs> you, you can't stretch your body. I think you're actually trying. <laughs> I have tried. Yeah, your arms are. They just grow. Ooh, it works. Like your feet. arms just dislocate themselves. So you get stuck in the handhold. <laughs> <laughs> I get stuck here. <laughs> you're the chosen one. Uh, your yeah. turn. <laughs> Do like Try it. This thing back here comes alive with the snake. Ooh. Yeah. Got it. Yes. All right. Whoa, whoa! You actually got it. You're the one. How? You are the one. How are your arms? You're so the long? you're the chosen one. Oh come on! Yeah, perfect fit, baby. Come on! These birds are about to attack you. Oh my you. god! Oh you're my the god! One. You're the chosen yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna Photoshop birds flying around. Right? It's actually happening. Yeah. I know it is. I don't even Photoshop anything. What's up? I'm the chosen one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Is it deep? Yeah, it's deep. Really? Yes, yeah, it's deep. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I think it, it can get deep, but I don't know if it is right now. It is deep. Yeah. How deep do you think? It is at least 20 steps more deep. Hmm. Wow. Because you see these steps, yeah. these are countable steps. These steps were used to be counted, like uh, the the Raja Maharajas would use to min mention it as, now the water has come to the fourth level. Come on, boss, not in front of, not right here. Is he jerking it? That's us, bro. That's literally, there's no difference between them and us. Kyle. That's a stretch. Yeah. Oh. He's like, what? What is that? It's like so far above the earth. And guys, earth. guys, let's go. We'll, we'll enjoy. You know what? The ones, uh, the scooter which is which is parked inside our hotel. Yeah. Once the uh, camel uh, hold holded the scooter by his mouth from the backside. Pulled it up, shaked it hard, and then again threw it on the ground. Is that strong? Yeah, because they do it when they get frustrated. They'll grab you from your, from this area. They'll shake you hard and then throw it on the ground. And by the time you'll be dead. They oh, kill you? God. Yes. How many deaths by camel 
every year? No, not many okay. because most of the people know about the nature of camel. Camel has some special qualities. That is why it is known as the ship of the desert. Yeah. Rajat decides to take us on a detour to introduce us to his family's camel. We made sure to keep our distance after hearing how evil they can be. But before we knew it, Rajat was on the phone with a tuk-tuk driver who knew where to find an elephant. Here he is, right here, yeah. number one. I don't know how we got lucky, but here he is. This is Lakshmi and Nani. They are Indian elephants that were rescued from tourism. They used to spend all day in the sun carrying foreigners up and down a hill that was too challenging for most to walk. But now, they spend their days eating as much as possible. Whenever they wrap up the grass and like they eat it, it's like the biggest crunch. It's actually kind of like scary. It's so kinda, loud. It's satisfying almost. I, yeah, like, that. I like that sound. Listen to this guy. Like, go up in here. Hey. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, here you go. You want another one? One more. Okay. One more. Don't want it? No. No. Yeah, yeah, it goes out. Yeah. They're, they're using some of the food on the ground to like slap bugs off their back and they'll throw it on their head and blow it off. <laughs> Not today, elephant. Gotta stick with the grass. Oh, very good. Here we have chicken, lentil, dal fried, and mutter. Mixed vegetables. Uh, double zero, and one three. Yeah. Small brother, big brother. brother. He's a nice hat. <laughs> you have nicer hair though. You got like Tom Chris hair. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I can't imagine you with my hair though. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> Still been from many my favorite tuk tuk driver. Yes, right here. Yeah. Number one. Thank you. How was the elephants? I always wanted to be elephants. So it was a dream for me. Your dream came true? Mm -hmm. My dream came true. You got something from there as your memory? Some photos. Just the photos? Video. Some spit, some elephant spit. Most importantly, some memories. Mm. You, uh, you guys take rest. Okay. And we, shall, we shall meet at around 8. We shall go for dinner to some place, some nice place. Okay, that could uh, be cool. And cold coffee. What time is it now? It's 7. It's 6.50. 650. Let Let's do that. Mehel means fort. Look at this. How crazy this is. So that's all for this video, but we're not done with Jaipur yet. Make sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss more India videos and so you don't miss our adventure to find the Agori. Anyways, see you guys next time. Goodbye. Did you say Khatan? Uh, Most haunted place in India? What is that? I'm honored in presenting this trophy. The Oscars for the best actor and the best queen in the world goes to Kyle. Thank you. Round of applause, Thank everybody. You. you want to speak your words? Uh, yes. Very sexy. Oh, oh. okay. From one of the best dialogues he has from one of his Indian movies, along with Dakota. Dakota. Oh. From the Dakota of Earth. Cameraman, the work of Jaw. Yes. And Julius Miguel. <laughs> Julius Miguel, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Julius Miguel. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have next uh, next award for the best cameraman, and the award for the best cameraman goes to the one who is holding the camera. Uh, he can I my trophy. Can I have the same trophy, please? Yes. You guys can share it afterwards. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, I would like to thank Julius Miguel for the shirt and uh, Rajat for the amazing hospitality um, and Jaipur for being such a beautiful city mm. for giving us so many unforgettable and unbelievable moments and experiences. Yeah. Those were so humble words by you, uh, John. There's no place on earth like Varanasi. Thousands of people day after day come here to pray, worship, and say goodbye to their loved ones, which will be burned next to the holy waters. There are bodies burning here 24 hours a day. The cremation grounds attract a very peculiar group of tribals called the Agori. The Agori, they're all about transcending 
be ego completely in ways of hanging out in cremation grounds, rubbing themselves in the ash of dead people, meditating on top of a dead body. Now we're going to the other side of the river, look some nice corpse of the body. And even sometimes eating the corpse. Yeah, I basically decided I just have to go and meet these guys out of my own morbid curiosity, but also out of a yearning to understand. I've yet to meet Nagori face to face until now.